Hello my Libra friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. Hope you're having a really good holiday. This is Irish Donna Tarot. Welcome to all new visitors and happy holidays to everyone. Power Libra. The full moon power is in your energy for love. Ooh, ripe. The full moon is like a big plump ripe peach. Hunger. Ooh, you have a hunger for someone and someone has a hunger for you. So one more card here for Spirit's energy. All right, so the unexpected. Spirit is giving you some very powerful advice right now that the hunger is going to be very intentional and very intense. All right, so Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am running a special for a holiday reading. It is in the comments pinned to the top if you are interested. So let's see, Libra, what is going on here for you in love? Overall energy, the Page of Cups. Okay, a new energy. Looks like a new relationship is coming in. A small offer of love. Ooh, four of wands in the recent past. Lots of excitement, lots of stability, all fired up. This is Aries energy. Very fired up about this connection. Very interested in seeing what, if it can go the distance, if it can become something very intense. This is a traditional marriage card, wedding tent, bridesmaids. But, you know, that's the situation that both of you are feeling is that it's very possible that you could have a very happy relationship. Oh, the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords energy is an energy of heartbreak. The Three of Swords is Libra energy. It usually involves a third party situation. Libra, you may be in a situation where this is mutual energy between you and your lover. So you're both feeling this way. And it does show, you know, when we look at the Page of Cups in this particular deck, Light Sears Tarot, it does show a pig with wings. So there is sort of a sense of disbelief that both of you have that when pigs fly, the relationship can become substantial. So how does your person view the situation currently? Well, you may work together. That is Capricorn energy. It's the energy of doing projects together, enjoying each other having an artistic bent and a way of expressing yourself, but it looks as though you might see each other day to day. It is a collaborative energy. It's the, if you're in a couple, if you're part of a partnership, it's, you know, let's go to the paint store, let's go to the furniture store, let's start building a life together. The way your person views you, Four of Swords, they view you as like a wounded warrior, that you've gone through some sort of heartbreak. They feel as though you might be recovering from a divorce. You could be recovering from a situation even with them. If they're married, if you're married, but and we're going to have to look at the clarifiers because there's a lot that's very unclear in this reading so far. So your person in their heart space is feeling passionate commitment to having adventures, having fun. You know, pages are very lighthearted energy. They're not very serious. It's about communication it's not much in terms of a depth of feeling. Uh, again, this could be a brand new relationship coming in also. All right, so now how they see the two of you moving forward. Wow, okay, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> oh, that's what makes tarot so much fun. The Ten of Cups energy. Your person feels as though you are there happily ever after, Pisces energy. The Four of Swords is um, Libra energy, Sagittarius energy. Your person really feels as though you could be the one. They could be madly in love with you. That is a lot of um, intense energy right here. There's a hunger for love. And both of you are in a position of power in your lives to manifest something unexpected. The mutual energy between the two of you, whoa, smoking hot love, Libra. That is Gemini energy. Boy, this is really powerful. The draw to each other is off the charts. It's unbelievable. Look at that. You may be different, very different people, different cultures, different parts of the world that you could be from. 
the three of cups wow the bridesmaids are dancing here at the wedding and when we see the three of cups that's usually when we get an ace of coins can bring about an engagement but it is a pair that has to be close by but the three of cups is spirit is recommending that you really enjoy this person you know develop your friendship enjoy the the best friends sort of energy that the two of you share together the short-term outcome at this time is gemini energy and virgo energy this is manifesting one another having the power to manifest this love relationship having the power to take something that isn't very advanced to heal heartbreak and to create something new and fantastic in love something very unexpected you both have a hunger for this so let's look and see what the clarifiers are libra libra this is a pretty exciting relationship reading so why do we have the page of cups why do both of you feel as though when pigs fly this will come about what is that energy about all right the heart of swords so that's libra energy both of you are trying to stay very grounded very balanced the truth the whole truth nothing but the truth so both of you are trying to just kind of make light of this you don't want to get too serious too fast and the star card wow oh my goodness well that is quite some energy the star is reversed in this particular instance so it shows that manifesting the star energy that healing energy is not available at this time it looks like it's somewhat blocked why is the star energy reversed the hierophant okay so what I'm seeing here is that one of you look like you're in a very committed relationship. So it looks like when pigs fly, the star is reversed. There can be no real satisfaction. I feel like the Rolling Stones can't get no satisfaction. Here we go. We have the Three of Swords. So the clarifier for the Four of Wands is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is next to it. So it does look like there is a third party situation, either both of you mutually, one or the other, but both of you could be married to other people tell us something about the three of swords why the heartbreak heart of cups oh the queen of cups energy libra that energy is cancerian energy both of you fell in love a while ago both of you are really struggling with this uh, the separation not being together the hanged man you feel like you've really you're seeing stars from hanging upside down, waiting for something to come about. You both have a hunger for this love, and it's not manifesting currently. The strength card, you have fire in your belly. That's the infinity symbol. Whenever I get the infinity symbol, I feel as though you've known this person probably through every lifetime since you've become source energy. Source energy is a term that Abraham Hicks uses to talk about life and its essence. We never really die. We only go back to source energy. We start from a molecule and we end up as that. So tell us about the Three of Swords, Heart of Wands. So there we have the Aries Queen. Oftentimes, a third party situation is indicated by the Aries Queen. And the Queen of Wands is very fiery, very passionate. So it looks, and that's mutual energy that the two of you are sharing. Both of you are invested in one another. Um, both of you know that this is going to take a lot of patience, but the Ten of Swords says that neither of you look as though you see a way to come together. It looks like you both feel very defeated, but you have fire in your belly. You hunger. You hunger for one another. It's a very intense relationship. Ten of Wands clarifying the Three of Coins. It's a very heavy energy. The Ten of Wands and the um, Ten of Swords go together oftentimes. A burden has to be released to have a new beginning. And we have the Lover's card again. Your person is in love with you. You're in love with them. You're mutually in love. Love every which way you look at it. The Nine of Wands, fire in your belly to, to go the distance with one another. With that Lover's card twice, a double soulmate energy. Boy, the two of you really want this. You have the power to make it happen. 
you know it's it's an awfully difficult you know, it's always difficult when there's two marriages the five of cups your person really sees you libra it's someone who's very sad feeling very very down in the dumps they see you as a person who's trying to heal from juggling two they see you as a person who wants your ten of cups with them and they see you as walking away from them the three of coins means that you know you might have met each other during a work project but the judgment card says that libra they feel as though you're making the judgment call to pull the plug on this and yet that's how they view you, but I don't really see it happening. It looks like both of you are in the mental and emotional space of not getting your hopes up, feeling like this could be really impossible, um, but, you know, really wanting to manifest one another with a magician. The Page of Wands, Temperance card reversed. So your person, Libra, does not see a way that they would probably leave their relationship the six of swords they want to temperance reversed as they don't know how to manifest that particular thing in their lives page of swords they study you online they spy on you there's a lot of messages coming in three of cups though three of cups this is you're in love with your best friend the two of you have an intense level of friendship and friendship love as well as soulmates soulmates best friends and magicians together six of coins both of you look like you want to give to the relationship the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth says that both of you would love nothing more than to come together in this relationship to work on it together the eight of coins is a very powerful indicator virgo energy of being able to manifest something the high priestess card with the lovers card secret lovers holding on to each other four of coins is holding on very tightly to one another not letting go not being willing to let go it's a very um uh, very um almost a jealous or covetous energy like no you belong to me you know it's a very real energy it's very powerful six of cups you want a reunion with each other looks like you might not have seen each other recently except at work the three of cups why is it here five of swords spirit is saying that the friendship alone um that you might not be able to be friends if you try to part ways but again you know spirit is saying that you guys are in it to win it we have this kind of reversed as it fell into my lap but we see twin flame energy here we also get that the two of you are really not talking. There's so much to say, but you're not talking. You're hanging in there. You're hanging on to each other. This twin flames energy, even if you're not seeing each other romantically right now, it looks as though you're spending time as deep, dear friends. Oh, this is a very intense reading. The magician card, why is it here? Two of swords. You are manifesting each other. You're not talking about it. Libra energy, though, the judgment and the justice card have come up. It looks like you're going to be able to manifest this relationship. You have a hunger for it. Here's the ace of coins, and that is the three of cups for a possible engagement. The justice card with the judgment card means that at least one of you is likely to get divorced. Oh, boy. And the Eight of Swords, the other person may not be willing to do it at this time. Self-imposed restriction. We have the Heart of Pentacles. Somebody's worried about losing their money, their, their uh, security, their stability. That is Taurus energy. The Nine of Coins. So right now, what I'm seeing, Libra, is one of you may have been divorced. Either that or one person's going to get divorced. But it does look like we'll have to tune in and see how this develops over the, the coming weeks, if it does develop. Because every reading is a standalone reading. But usually they will run in themes for a period of time. So it looks as though one person's ready to take the leap of faith or they've started. The other person is whole, you know, hanging in there, feeling as though they can't leave. But it looks like this manifestation card is powerful. I don't think it can be denied, Libra. It doesn't look like it, even if a, if one of you, it looks like your your partner may be dragging their, their feet, but boy, 
It's a very powerful energy. The two of you are so much better together than you are apart that it speaks volumes. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from, Libra. It's been a joy. Hope you continue to enjoy the holidays. Bye-bye.